So how do you get to do a big project? Well, first you have an idea. Uh, then you say, well, I better talk to some people because I couldn't possibly do this idea by myself. So usually it's a scientist that has this kind of idea. So a scientist finds some friends to talk to and we draw sketches and we say, what if we could do this and what if we could do that? And then if we're lucky, then there's some place that has some money uh, that is interested in supporting wonderful new ideas. So then we have to write a proposal, a little book, maybe a big book, um, from several hundred pages sometimes it takes to express your idea and your plan uh, so that uh, somebody that has money can say yes or no. So in, in, around the world we have government agencies and private foundations and universities that can support research ideas uh, if you can make a good case for it. So uh, that's actually one of the interesting things that a scientist needs to be able to do is to be able to write and express an idea so that other people can understand it and appreciate how it would be wonderful to do that particular kind of work. So uh, that's our process. Uh, idea, expand the idea, write it up, communicate it, uh, explain to uh, somebody that has resources, uh, people, money, facilities, whatever it is that you need, why it would be very good for them and for us to do this idea together. So that's how it is done at NASA. We write proposals, we compete with other organizations and ideas uh, by writing proposals. And committees usually meet to read these proposals and, and decide which ones are the best. So I happen to be lucky. Uh, the one that we did before turned out to be a project that would be launched. And the one I'm working on now is also going to be launched.